Sa Wadi Kap. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSV Windows and Doors. It's Tuesday, April 9th, and I'm your host, JP Mastanza, with the news you need to know. The Patong Traffic Police are urging the drivers of water delivery trucks to avoid crossing the Patong Hill this Saturday, April 13th, because of the Songkran holiday. The chief of the traffic police told the Phuket News that water trucks are being asked not to cross Patong Hill from 6 a.m. to midnight, as there will be many people on the roads on Saturday especially. There is no request for other big vehicles to not go over Patong Hill this Saturday, but for water trucks, it is necessary, according to police, adding that they lack the legal authority to outright ban the water trucks on Patong Hill, although if water trucks do end up in an accident, they'll be charged to the fullest extent of the law. 8,000 meth yaba pills and an assault rifle with 50 rounds. It's not something police thought that that would have been associated with monks and nuns, but that's what happened in Trang province. A police investigation led to a search of the living quarters of 38-year-old Tan Jong Tong, who was under the monk name of Pra Bom at the temple Wat Yotong in Trang, where they found over 6,500 meth pills. He confessed and told police about a 26-year-old nun Bua Suadin, who had 600 meth pills. Her confession led to another seizure of 1,200 meth pills and an M16 rifles with ammunition under a bridge in another part of Trang. The pair were expelled by the temple abbot and are now in police custody. A 23-year-old Thai man is confessing to the brutal rape and murder of a German tourist on the resort island of Koh Si Chang in the Gulf of Thailand on Sunday evening. The body of the 27-year-old German woman was found on Sunday evening by a tourist buried under dried leaves and rocks as police say she was badly beaten on her face and skull. 23-year-old Ronakon Rombruen was picked up at his home just a few hours later wearing the blood-stained shirt and after taking him into custody, police say he confessed, telling them he feared she would tell police about the rape, so he hit her with a rock and then buried the body nearby. He's now facing several charges, including rape and premeditated murder, with police adding that the suspect had taken drugs before the incident, although no indication on what drug exactly. Puget Extra will be right back after this. Visit us in Patong or inkinasia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. More than 8,600 residents in northern Thailand have sought treatment for haze-related respiratory illnesses since January, according to the National Health Security Office. Since February, air concentrations of parts per million 2.5 pollutants in the northern provinces have soared beyond the safe threshold set by the government and the WHO, the World Health Organization. Recently, parts of Chiang Rai re reached an, an alarming level of 10 times the safe limit imposed in Thailand and 20 times the safe limit of the WHO. Crop burning during its dry season has been blamed for the poor air quality, but the smog has also been exacerbated by urban and industrial expansions and the rising numbers of vehicles on the roads. A 37-year-old woman is confessing to police that she stole 2.3 million baht in cash from her neighbor in Chalong last week. A complaint was filed earlier this week alleging the burglary took place last Thursday, April 4th in Chalong, and police in their investigation learned that 37-year-old Tanapat Wangsakna, the woman who lives across the street, was the prime suspect. Acting on a warrant, Ms. Tanapat was picked up, first telling police she won the lottery, but then later confessing to taking the money, she admitted to buying a pickup truck and, quote, throwing a party for the neighborhood to celebrate her fake lottery win. She's now being charged and police are working to recover the cash. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.